Good day and welcome back to another DBC Durkin Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Super Boo performance of or LR Super Boo's performance in the Cell Max event. Now for those of you who don't know, Super Boo is a pretty good unit and he's obviously the LR that most recently came out in DBZ Doka Metal. Now Super Boo as an LR is pretty cool. Uh, I think he's a really really top unit uh, with a really really good kit for all kinds of content. Now before we talk about him, the usual disclaimer for the Selma Accident. The Selma Accident is an event that is best taken on by units that have a high levels of damage reduction, high levels of evasion, type advantage, high defense, or just a combination of all of these things. In terms of unit's performance, if the unit is in type, they will naturally have advantage against Selma Axe. Whereas if the unit is AGL type like Super Boo, they will have a disadvantage against Cell Max. Now, in terms of Super Boo's passive, one thing that obviously really stands out is his ability to have a great chance of guarding all attacks. Now, a great chance is roughly 70%, which is honestly pretty decent. 70% is a relatively consistent level of guarding. However, when it doesn't occur or doesn't proc, Super Boo's not going to look great in the Cell Max event. When it does proc, he's going to look very, very good. Now, in terms of Super Boo himself, I think overall, uh, Super Boo is very solid, especially in this event when there's guard procs, but you don't need it to proc for him to really look super duper fly. One of the things that's also really good about him is his ability to raise his attack after he receives a hit, which is obviously super important uh, when you are looking at you know, using a unit, especially in an event whereby you, know, you really desperately want first slot units. So Super Boo wants his guard procs and if you've got a couple dupes in him, definitely can be a fantastic unit. But not only that, but he has obviously great offensive potential and should he be able to crit then he's basically going to be really good to go uh, in terms of damaging his cell max. So there's a lot of really, really good uh, kind of things about him. Things that you can obviously arrange to have a bit of a better time, I think, which overall is always something uh, I feel that is appreciated, at least to an extent. Of course, a big thing about Super Boo or a big thing about units in general is their teams and just how good is Super Boo and his team. Now, Margin Boo Saga is kind of okay. Uh, I used a couple variants of Margin Boo Saga to take this on. Heavenly Events also isn't really a great bolster category. Now, Power Absorption is pretty good, largely due to the fact that you have a whole bunch of cells on Power Absorption which does make these, this event at least uh, a lot more manageable and you can also include your own copy of Margin Boo under that team but you know, a big thing at least for me when you look at like unit performance is always their teams and I wouldn't say Super Boo has beyond power absorption I wouldn't say he's got a clear team uh, that's distinctively OP maybe artificial life form uh, will be a very decent way to build this. And I think between artificial life form and between powerful, sorry, uh, absorption, then I think you know that's kind of the the max limits of this unit's performance capabilities. Uh, but beyond that, it's all relatively straightforward. Uh, so yeah, we'll take a look at how he does in the tech phase a couple times. But yeah, honestly speaking, it's not uh, too crazy. You can see here, uh, he does exist, you know, well, not in this rotation, you're not going to see him here. But in the next two rotations, you are going to see just how well he does. And unfortunately, we couldn't get his guard to proc. So, I ran this event, I think it must be cursed, because I ran this event about five times. Uh, you know, getting him to the tech phase and every time he just did not proc his guard 
Uh, which is honestly very unusual now. Obviously it can happen, which is why chance to guard is not necessarily something people like. But Superboo's performance, especially against a tech version of Cell Max, means that if he doesn't guard, he's not going to be having uh, a pretty good time. At least, you know, from my perspective. Of course, uh, other than that, he looks really, really solid and really, really good. Uh, so yeah, in general, I'm just pretty, pretty impressed by that. You can see here, uh, he's got 220k defense. This, unfortunately, is not going to mean uh, much at all for him. But, you know, like, it's good to see. It's good to see that he can hit some decent numbers, uh, you know, just in general. But you can see there, 351k. Really, realistically not the greatest uh, in terms of damage, and that will always happen to him, especially if his guard does not proc. Uh, that's realistically as good as it gets for him, because, yeah, he just he can't handle that level of heat, which is a little bit of a shame. But beyond that, he is still a really, really solid unit, and, yeah, you can see there, 455,000, 235,000. But, yeah, um... You know, that's when God doesn't proc. Whenever it does, though, he will take decent damage. Uh, even at 55 or 69%. So, yeah. 